was 2 for 3 in the match against Australia and there was no hope left with millions of fans following the match. Everyone was glued to this one tool, the Google predictor, which somehow still had hope, giving India a generous chance of a 10%. But after the marathon performances of Virat Kohli and KL Rahul, the predictor soon turned into India's favour. So how does one actually predict the result of such a complex game? More importantly, how does this Google predictor predict? Let's say 99% team A will win or 40% team B will lose. Cricket is one of the most popular sports in the world with nations like India, Pakistan, South Africa, Australia and many more countries playing this sport with millions and billions of fans following the game. Especially in India, cricket is a religion with players like Virat, Sachin and Dhoni being worshipped as demigods. In this video, we will learn how a Google cricket prediction works and what are the key technologies behind it. We will also learn how to make a Google predictor all by yourself. Cricket prediction is difficult as there are many factors that influence the outcome of the match. In the earlier days, the basic prediction systems for these matches included only the venue and disregarded other factors like the weather, captaincy, etc. The factors like venue of the match, weather conditions, the pitch, all play a very vital role in predicting the outcome of the match. For instance, we all know that Virat Kohli is a different beast when he is chasing. This fact has been established by a lot of data points and by his performance over his long career. And this is why suitable models are necessary to predict and data mining makes it possible to extract the required information from these data files. So now that we have a basic understanding on how the data is collected, let's see how the prediction system works on the principles of machine learning. There are two types of machine learning, namely supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. In supervised machine learning, we need to train the machine to provide huge data sets and the outcomes. Google API used by the Google prediction system is a black box prediction technique. It is a form of supervised learning, hence requires a huge amount of data and consistently training the models. Once the model has enough data, the model can make numerical predictions. Google prediction APIs make use of regression algorithms when it comes to making numerical predictions and classifiers when the target output can only assume a limited set of values, numbers or strings based on the application content. This API can only account for relatable data. If the attributes are not related to one another, then a correct probability curve will not be drawn. By providing a CSV of previous cricket matches and using appropriate queries to extract the required data and train the models, predictions can be made. Yes, you too can make a cricket predictor with ample data points. So go on and predict the result of your next gully cricket match or maybe even the World Cup. So before we go, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel.